Hello everybody and welcome to episode 15 of the Pal World series. And oh man, every time I come back to this <laughs> damn world, this tree is back in full swing right through my base. And it's not okay. I suppose it's a random bit of wood that I end up collecting every time. There's no other thing I'm doing to collect fiber, but also I don't need fiber, so... What the heck? We also have an egg that appears to be hatched, so let's hatch it. Or incubated. Now we hatch. A chillet. Wait, <laughs> that's the thing right here, the chillet that I took out across the bridge. I have to go catch the boss version of that too. At some point I will. Oh, I also get XP for that. I forgot about it. The bosses, the normal enemies, the joke creatures, everything gives you XP for catching it. Which means, yeah, before we get too distracted with anything else, yeah, let's just go catch another chillet. Whoa, whoa, don't fall off the bridge. <laughs> don't do it. Damn, this dog really is fast. It's kind of nice. Uh, monkeys don't need those. I should be able to handle this thing with just this dog. Probably. Yeah, I'm doing just fine. And I'm fast enough that I can dodge his attacks. Nope, I was wrong. I thought I was. I thought wrong. Right about there should do. Let's get the bow out. And now we start working on catching him. We have more than enough spheres to do so. Just give up. You can't do it, Gillette. You don't stand a chance. Ouch. Okay, he might stand a chance. He keeps pelting me. I'm gonna dismount the dog because I'm better at dodging by myself. And of course, we catch it as soon as I do. Such is the nature of life. But, oh, do you see that? That's an egg. I want it. I will have it. You're my egg. You cannot escape. Wait, wait. Down across here. And down right in here. Is this... Ah, uh, fire egg. Nice. Should we catch more things? I now know that my level is not enough. Uh, we probably shouldn't jump off of this with a dog. And he won't jump off of it either, which is interesting. Seems like the pals understand that they can take fall damage, and so they don't do anything too crazy. Might as well get as much XP and levelage as we can when we see it. Because eventually, we'll be able to brush off most of the creatures that we see as finished. We've already gotten all the XP from these and those and that, so we can ignore them. But until then, we will get the most XP if we just catch anything that we haven't seen too much of, like the deer. It also doesn't hurt to have stronger versions of them if we can get lucky enough to catch said stronger versions. Definitely need to work on doing this catching phase off of my mounts, because they... <laughs> They were terrible at dodging. Truly terrible. Lamb balls, I know I have ten of them. So we can just waste them for the wool. And we do need wool. It takes ten cloth for the fluffy beds that they want us to make. Ten of these, and I don't think we do have ten of them. I don't know why I just stopped at do. <laughs> just a minor stroke. Oh, right, I need to remember that that one hits harder than the others. Capriti's, we can get a few of them. What's over here? Lift monk. Again, I accidentally killed something. This might be a bit bad to pick a fight with two of these at once. Yeah, it probably is. We'll leave them be. No need to keep dying. Undo deaths. Do we have ten of these? I don't think we do. Lift monks. I don't think so, just because they flee. I probably ignore them often. Except for this one, who came out of his sphere and then just ran right into me. Like you do. Alright, that one's mine. Uh, we have five. We could use more. T-Fans on the way. You know what, if we do this quick, we could probably get two of these. We'll try. First this, this, that. Use the bow. Charge. Yeah, you can really chain things together. You do it just right. Because you can attack from the back of your mounts, and the mount itself has plenty of attacks. So, there's another Capriti. Let's get one more, and then apparently we're hungry, so we'll fix that problem. Catch this thing. Where'd that Capriti go? Don't run for me, lamb balls. Your XP. I mean, wool. I mean, both, really. Am I in the water? I can't attack. There we go. Hey, just be dead. It's for the best. Now I want this Capriti. I want the crap out of this Capriti. You're mine. I'm out of stamina. Hold on. Now you're mine. And that should be enough. Probably. I'm going to dismount just so that they can't uh, start flinging projectiles at me. 
I don't know how much wool we need, but hopefully not too much. Are we... I believe five deep with the tansies might be more. Oh, we already have ten tansies, which means I just threw a ball at this one for no reason. Oh well, we might just have a chance at being the owner of a stronger tansy. So screw it, we'll keep catching them. These damn lamb balls really think they're gonna get f Oh, it's not a lamb ball, it's a lift monk. But you're not gonna get away from me either. Oh, I accidentally killed it. It did get away from me. By fleeing to the afterlife, like you do. Ooh, another Capriti. I want all the XP. Yeah, you can really chain things together. <laughs> Feels like I'm doing combos over here. Well, the other one's running instead of attacking, which is surprising. Guess we'll have to do the same thing to him. They only fight back if you attack them, not just their friends. <laughs> just shot those arrows way off. It's nowhere near the target. And we have another one. Just four more of those to go. We run through the ravine. What do we find? A tansy. We don't need those anymore. Paldium fragments. It wouldn't hurt to get more of those, honestly. Ooh, lamb ball. You're done for. Ooh, two deer. Okay, that's something we still need more of. So we'll get that. And the other one ran away. I expected it to attack me. But it won't. And we caught the first one. Go us. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Watch it, buddy. Everything's fine. Maybe not. Okay, let's dismount before it starts wasting me on the back of the dire owl. And we've got both deer. Oh, I'm also apparently starving. I forgot about that. Let me fix it. Where are my berries? Berries. Berries. Done. Uh, these things could give wool, so we'll take them out too. Actually, we need ten crevices, so we'll catch these ones. Ooh. Well, we'll catch the next ones. <laughs> Whoops. There. 100% catch rate. Nice. You don't even have to think about it. That's what I like to see. Uh, 73. Could have done better. Like this. I will go in there eventually. Maybe around... Uh, hmm, level 25? With my team? It sounds fair. Considering the next biome is around that level. It's probably the level that they want you to be to fight the boss. And 91%. That thing's definitely ours. Screw it, they just keep throwing these things at me. It's free wool to me. One of them's trying to run away. You think you can escape? Adorable. Oh crap, it did escape into the afterlife again. Where'd that fox barks go? I want you to. Your fodder. I need that leather. And the fire organs, I guess. But mostly leather. Gimme, gimme. I need more. Don't burst out of the spheres. You're just wasting everyone's time. Your own included. You gotta be careful not to kill these things. Sometimes you just seem to do extra damage to them. I don't know why. We got another batch just running at us. Oh, missed that one. I'm gonna get you. <laughs> There's so many of them. I think this is gonna top off all the fox barks that we need. Chicken. Dead chicken. And another fox barks. That should be the last one. And yes, we got it. Good fox barks. Now we can ignore them for the most part. Hmm, should I get the pallium? No, no, it should be fine without them. We might need it actually for the next tier of spheres. We will have to start making them. We saw that when we tried to catch the robin quill. Thing was uh, highly resistant to the normal spheres. Highly resistant, which is not great. Hmm. Coming back to the ravine, I see lift monks. I will have you. You're mine. Don't run. It's not worth it. 67%. These things are weirdly difficult to catch too. In comparison to everything else in this area, when they appear around things like cativas and lamb balls and tansies, the lift monks are weirdly difficult. Oh, we have one trying to run. Where are you going? He's pretty good at it. He's zigging and he's zagging. Stop. Stop. You <laughs> just... Just get caught. It's not worth it. 79%. And he's mine. Goody. Jump up here and get this one, because he's just <laughs> staring me down. <laughs> he doesn't care. He saw me catch the other ones, and he's like, go ahead, just do it. I don't care. So I will. You want to become part of the gang? Then you're part of the gang. <laughs> he ran right back to where he was. <laughs> he's dead set on standing right there. And he did it again. This is my favorite lift monk. I don't know what's wrong with his AI, but I like it. Yep, go right to your spot. Also, stop breaking out of the sphere. It's a 68%. Come on, man. 
There you go. Good boy. <laughs> That's a goofy ass lift monk. And my favorite. I can't I can't jump up here. Let me let me just up up we go. Oh, we made some progress. Up again? Never mind. I'll just go down the ravine. Screw it. Hmm. Said I Tea fans, yes, we still need more of those. Become a bit of a XP farming episode. Unintentionally, but well, it is what it is. We need to catch as many of these things as possible because it gives us way more XP than anything else. Way more. It's not even comparable to anything. Uh, one more hit should do. And you're mine. You know, I haven't seen any of those damn birds. I want more night wings. I need a stronger one. Ooh. One of these things is actually aggroed from attacking their friend. Oh no. Was that two attacks? I think there was another Capriti. Oh, you know, I guess not. All right, in that case, we're good to go. You and me, buddy. Mono e mono. Whoa, okay. Never mind. Mono e soccer ball. It's okay. Can't catch them all. The same Pokemon. Because at least half of them have to die for progress. <laughs> Which is so much better than Pokemon. Another deer. Eh, let's get the elephant first. I think we're almost at 10 with this thing. I think. No promises. If so, there's another one over there. Ted, okay, we can ignore the elephant now. Where'd that deer go? Ah, he's going up the stairs. You think you're going to escape me? I don't think so. Where are you going, you silly, silly goose? Well, that did almost exactly the amount of damage that I needed it to. Also, there's more Capriti's. This is a nice little diverse area for catching everything. <laughs> Taking diversity, equity, inclusion to a new level. Damn, this thing is tanky. My bow just could not touch it. But that's okay, because the spheres can. And we got it. Let's get this next one. We only need two more. Ouch. And there we go. Now it's just a matter of making it stay inside the damn balls. The Gabritis are highly resistant. And they have a habit of attacking when I throw the spheres, making them bounce over off into the distance. He almost hit that one too. Damn, just stay in the- see, he just did it again. Stay in the damn sphere. Come on, don't make it difficult now. Come on. Oh man, this is the lowest 45% chance I've ever seen. <laughs> RNG is so fickle. There's that. I believe I'm all caught up on lift monks. Let me check. Oh, that's why I'm doing so little damage. My bow is broken. I have to go and repair that right now. Otherwise, I'm just wasting arrows. Okay, we need one more lift monk. Yes, one more. Deer. Deer? How did you get hurt? It wasn't me. What the hell? Who hurt that deer? The pals just having a damn territory war or something? I mean, it's a freebie for me, but still. I want to know what went down. We know of at least one thing that did go down. Me catching that deer. Now let's go ahead and hit back so we can repair this bow. It does such baby damage when it's broken. Also level up. Hooray. I think everything is going to go into health from now on. Do I have an egg cooking? Yes. Incubate. Let's see what we get. A floppy. We already have one of those. I can't see what raid... <laughs> Herd of violent wild pals? What? Hold on. I think we're going to need the bird for this. All we got was a floppy from that hatch, so we don't have to pay too much attention to it. We've already gotten those from that other environment. Now, what is down here? What kind of creatures are we looking at? These bugs. But wait, and a incineram. The hell, that thing looks badass. Okay, we're gonna just catch these things, I guess. If we can get their health low enough, like so. <laughs> I, I don't know why they're so derped out here, but they are. I wasn't planning on building my base in a place where getting raided would cause bugginess like this. Damn, I really need to repair my bow. Really need to repair it. But I'm not going to avoid catching things just because I've accidentally built in a buggy area. After all, I, I didn't know what the hell was going to happen. Hey, don't, don't deflect my balls. Catch the damn lease bug. It's a pretty good chance to. Why are they, why do they just stand here? Like at the entrance of this dungeon. I don't understand. Doesn't make sense to me. Well, I think we're gonna get the incinerab and yes, we are. The first sphere. <laughs> it's already mine. Very interesting. What the hell was that sound? Oh, it was the robin quill. 
You make some weird noises. Very weird noises. Oh yeah, I was in that other territory. Did I get more wheat seeds? No, somehow I still haven't. I don't understand. Hmm. Incineram. It can do burning for the furnace. It has two crafting, two transportation, and it can mine. Wow. It's kind of just good all around. But I have to check. Let me find something that requires the flame organs. Okay. Having that flame bell thing, the weird fire candle creature right there in my crosshairs might be worth keeping in the base over the incineram simply because when it's grazing like this it's producing fire organs that means i don't have to go out and farm those fox sparks or anything else and that's a dub a big dub oh yeah since i got level ups i should be able to craft the fluffy beds now fluffy fluffy bed right there and some other things worry about those later okay the key resources here is 10 cloth that's 20 wool basically and five nails which is two and a half ingots quite expensive all things considered for a single bed when i'm probably going to need a multitude of those hmm. well first things first we have to convert all of the wool to cloth we'll set that up here and we'll take this other workbench and produce hmm. we'll say 10 nails which will be well, 10 crafts, which will be 20 nails. So we'll get that going. Let's go visit the other base real quick and see how much wool has been set up, created, crafted. Actually, let's get this ore real quick. They're not transporting it very well. So we'll pick this up, drop it off in a chest. Man, <laughs> this game is very dark. All right, very over encumbered, which is fine. We'll go ahead and set all the ore to cook. Now, we'll go to the other base. First off, we'll go ahead and equip our torch, because it's dark as hell. And now, we'll go to the other base and collect any of the wool that the Cremises should have produced at this point. And I guess we'll be getting Pal Spheres and the like as well. Never hurts to have more. I don't think you could possibly have too many. Unless you're considering carry weight. How much do these things weigh on me right now? 33 pounds of pal spheres. Nice. Better to have that weighing you down than something like stone. And here's where all the wool is. Should we get all of these pal spheres and the like? What a sound it produces when you pick up this much stuff. <laughs> okay, that was 110 wool. It takes two wool for one cloth, which means that it produced 55 cloth in what would be a single day. Alright, you know what? It's not too bad. Maybe I should stop farming cloth in the wild. I mean, wool. Considering how well these things do? Hold on. Do I have the proper amount assigned here? All filled up? I do. It almost seems wasteful to have the Caprides here, because they're not really producing much at all. I know they're supposed to produce berries, but if we look at my inventory, I already had, what, like 60 of them? So I got like 140. I can do the same thing at the other base with one plantation. So I think I will be removing the Caprites. We don't need them. Replace them with more crevices. Let's quickly sort out the pal deck, or pal box, by pal number. And then, yes. Try to find any of them with good working passive skills. Which, there aren't many. So, we'll put in ones without any skills. If you think about it, not having any negatives is in itself a positive. And as soon as they appear, they just go straight to sleep. I see how it is. However, I still have things to do at the base. So what I'm going to do is set my monkey. Actually, you know what? The monkey is meant for crafting. But now I have this incineram thing. Where is it? It's right here. So... Definitely switch it out for the incinerate. As it says it has two crafting, he can work on the cloth and I'll work on the nails. Damn. <laughs> it's, it's not even comparable. Look at how much faster he is. That's insane. Can't stop, won't stop. Incineram does not mess around. Wowee. Alright, well... <laughs> I might as well not even be helping. I can't wait until I get creatures with three or four crafting. They're gonna absolutely outshine everyone else. Hands down, the favorite child. Gain Cinerem. I work on the nails. Good god. This is a little excessive, almost. Whatever future series we do, our priority is to get anything with two crafting, because that is not even vaguely comparable to everything else's speed. Let's get more fire creatures. You can't seem to go wrong with them. Mm. We can take the nails that we've got here. Also, while I'm at it, I'm going to set up the rest of this cloth to be crafted because we know we're going to get about 55 a day, roughly. Everybody's awake. Hooray. Okay, fluffy pal beds. We need two of them. Two beds. 
one here. Is that even inside the... <laughs> is it inside the base being right there? We'll have to look at the number. It says 12 out of 12 beds. Um, I am curious. This might actually be outside of the base. But then again, why would you be able to craft beds outside of your base range? That would be silly. So I might have put it at the very cusp. And... It counts, so we're fine. Now these guys can get the hell out of my way. I can craft another one right about here. Nice. Let's go ahead. Let's place a third. Oh, we can't. Never mind. I guess I won't. Damn, he's already done with the nails. <laughs> he's good. He's real good. But this has been episode 15 of the Power World series. Thank you all for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day. And I will see you in the next episode. But for now, goodbye.